I think getting really sick of is having to deal with people who actually uh, say, Oh, I don't know why people want to be famous. There's so much suffering that comes from being rich and famous. And they act like being rich and famous means being put on the highest pedestal. And I'm getting sick of this because the only people who actually talk about this shit are the ones who know absolutely nothing, nothing about sociology. Essentially, layman idiots. Which is what YouTube uh, enjoys the most because the more content called blogs are the ones that are rants and rants are come from people who know nothing about anything. They break more logical fallacies than hockey players break bones. Those kinds of idiots. Those irritating idiots. But I'm just gonna go straight to the point. Which is something I rarely do. Rich people are the second highest class. The highest class are the wealthy people who basically put these rich people on these pedestals for marketability. The wealthy people are the ones who do the investing and they get the big bucks and they, whatever money they get, um, they take a portion of it and they invest, they invest, they consolidate. Since this is corporate America and most things are corporate, you can either do investments or you could actually just try and lobby the state. So that's the kind of era we live in today. And the rich guy is just the guy who is being handed a good number of royalties. For example, uh, Will Smith. Uh, I'm going to use him as a good example. A lot of people don't realize that he got his show, and this is explicitly stated, there's no secrets. He got his show the Fresh Prince of Bel Air because he, like most celebrities, became bankrupt. He became bankrupt because he was just, he was rich and he didn't know how to spend his money because he wasn't wealthy. He wasn't investing. He was just getting everything he legally demanded for. And everything he wanted. Uh, so, um, Eventually, he became bankrupt. He wasn't doing those savings and investments that normal wealthy people do who get those large portions of money. But wealthy people get more money. Like, the rich guy can just be a millionaire. A wealthy person can be like a multi-billionaire. Just a multi-millionaire or billionaire. It doesn't matter. It just means that they're the capital. There are people who inherit the works of a capitalist or bourgeois. Uh, the rich guy is just the person who's the little icon guy. Who does his little skill and becomes popular for it. Gets that popularity train and most people don't make it after that because they're either bankrupt or they're overworked. It's only natural. So in actuality, um, the key to understanding the nature of that rich class is that the rich class is a hard working class which is being just sociologically dominated by the highest class which is the wealthy class and that's um, the class that actually uses the state to the fullest degree which is lobbying it, subsidizations and stuff that Keynesian economics has screwed over the entire nation with. And I think it's very horrifying, but people are gonna totally call me a leftist for using the class dichotomy. But really, there's four classes. There isn't 
three classes, like most people say, there's four classes. These classes are usually the ones that it's the war against the middle, and it's also a war against the rich. If anything, you shouldn't be uh, saying how you don't want to be a celebrity because of the rich and fame and the excess. And you should just derail them for being the total bitches of that higher rank. That's basically what it is. The celebrities that survive are the ones that know how to save their money. The ones that don't do anything except uh, pinch pennies until they know that they can get that car and that house and that wife and that paper. That that initial hundred thousand dollars, millions, uh, you still got to keep your apartment for a while because otherwise you're just going to bite the bullet. Alright, I think I'm pretty much done here. What do I gotta say? What I gotta say is that I feel like a bird over there. I don't know what it is. Like, uh, that cynicalism uh, doesn't make sense because it ignores the fact that these rich people are being aren't the highest and that they're dying because they're the highest they're dying off because they're, they're in that hot streak that they're in that little class that isn't being protected by the state they're not in the class that's being protected by the state they're not in the class that's being um, defended in any way and the state isn't gonna do anything about that and hopefully it doesn't because if it does then it's just gonna screw over everybody that's the way I see it it's not that they're this little beautiful thing in the center of the sky that is just getting shot down it's not that they're kink Kong and that they're up on an Empire State and all the little helicopters are shooting it down. It's not that they're um, Jesus Christ who's being sacrificed as a martyr. No, it's not that. It's just that they're being fucked over by the same people who are using the state. Another horrible little contraption to fuck you over. So, you're an idiot if you ever thought that way. And sure as hell no. That you're still an idiot even afterwards. That you should probably get your ass whooped. And there's no compensating for thinking that way, because you basically blamed the victim. That's probably the most fucked up little thing you can do. Anyway, um, I'm pretty much done here. There's not much left to say. I'm gonna um, click that little red thing. Wait, billion fucking years. And then I'm probably gonna do read more of these into these books uh, from Milton Friedman and Murray Rothbard. Once I'm done with those books, I'll actually uh, proceed to doing Stefan Molyneux and Ayn Rand. Maybe Mises. I'll just like keep adding more and more and more books so that um. I have enough shit to do now that all my projects are completed for next year and maybe even the year after until I can become famous uh, or just have a place that's what I mean have like a place in the anarchist community alright until then this is Leon Red and you can suck my juicy cock <laughs>